Hi, welcome back to bringing yoga into our daily lives. Welcome back, youth. So today we are going through the fifth niyama as we've been practicing our eight limbs of yoga. We first did our yamas, we're on our niyamas, and we're on our last niyama. That is Ishvara Pranidhana, the power of surrender. Here we find the flow of goodness. We find the rhythm of surrender hidden within our activities, challenges, and interruptions that life presents. We practice releasing rigidity and our need to control. We joyfully engage in life as it comes to us. We place our egos in devotion to that which is greater. Let's learn to stop fighting life and surrender to the flow of expansion. Trusting in the moment, paying attention, being aware of what is right in front of us. Let's simply let go and receive each moment with an open heart. We engage each moment with integrity at the same time, soft enough to flow with the current of life. Today we surrender to the flow of our yoga practice. Using the seed mantra, Lam for the root, and balm for the sacral. And we will be combining that today. We can go ahead and find ourselves standing for a moment. Let's just take a moment and start to roll through those shoulders. We're hip width distance apart, toes point forward. We have nice soft knees, our abs are tucked in. We're even starting to take a moment to lengthen lengthen through the back find the crown of the head at the top and back of the head as we lengthen up towards the ceiling we close the eyes for a moment we might bring the hands over the low pelvis this is within our sacral and our root chakra just taking nice deep breaths here closing the eyes and as we feel nice and stable here let's go ahead and bring palms face up palms are face up the left hand will go underneath the right hand. The two thumb tips will go ahead and connect and we're just gonna rest that where it is comfortable, naturally relaxing in this mudra, in this position. Let's go ahead and inhale. Now we're going to inhale to Lam Vam. So it's Lam Vam. So let's go ahead and inhale to Lam Vam. Last one like this. Inhale to Lam Vam. So we're going to say Lama, 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 Lama on the first one. And then our second breath will be Bom, 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 Bom. So let's go ahead and inhale to Lam. Lama, 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 And the next one, it's gonna sound like we're going somewhere in a car, so it's bomb. <laughs> Let's go ahead and inhale the bomb. Bum 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 all the way out. And that may have led to a little bit of an itchy nose there as we bummed and made a vibration here within the nose and mouth. All right, taking a couple more deep breaths here, just noticing how we feel today. How do you feel today? And now 
are we mostly centered, we've relaxed, we're coming into that centered thought, and today the word of the day is integrity. So integrity is our word for the day. Let's go ahead and start with a yoga jogging. So we're going to be jogging through the forest. So let's go ahead and pick up those knees, hip width distance apart. We're on the balls of our feet so those heels are nice and lifted. Our tight calves in the back of our legs here and our arms are going to be swinging by the side. Let's try and bring it so instead of crosswise, we're going to go straight forward. So we're really jogging up that mountain, jogging down through the forest. Might be getting a little bit tired here. It's okay, we're starting to warm up as we jog through that forest. And let's go ahead and step out to shoulder width distance apart. Let's inhale, because we're getting really happy. So we're gonna do the breath of joy. And remember, we exhale, we let it out. We inhale, we bring it back up, clap the hands together. Exhale like an ax through the legs, inhale. Exhale, we soften those knees, inhale. Exhale through the legs, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Can we go faster? Shake that out, shake out the arms, shake it out. So as we shake it out, we're gonna calm down just a little bit. Let's bring those hip width distance apart. Let's inhale, lengthen up. We're stretching tall, we're taking a minute break. Let's exhale, forward fold. Inhale, coming into that monkey pose, gazing, looking forward. And exhale, back down into forward fold. Hands on front of the shins, on front of the legs. Let's inhale, half back, those knees are soft, hip width distance apart. And then let's go ahead and inhaling again, all the way up and over. And exhale, bring it all the way back down to the heart. Inhale, lengthen up. Let's exhale, just bring one arm down. Now what are we gonna do? We're gonna take that arm that's down and let's bring it to the forehead and we're gonna look over to the side where we have that lifted arm. Our hips are pointed forward still, soft knees. And let's go ahead and bring that hand all the way back down. Inhale, switching arms. And let's exhale, bring that other hand that was down over to the forehead because we're gonna bring that gaze all the way around. So we're gonna look through the armpit of that other arm. Take a nice deep breath in. Let's exhale, bring it back. Bring both arms up this time. And exhale. So as we're here, let's go ahead and take that hip width distance apart. You can go ahead and go that way. And we're gonna step one leg forward, you choose. So let's bring hands to hips, step one leg forward. We wanna come into our warrior one. Let's go ahead and pick up that back heel for a moment and slide it slightly in. So we have toes to point off in a diagonal that might have shifted our hips slightly open. So hand on hips, shift those hips forward, bend that knee forward. And let's go ahead and bring up the arms up and over. So as we bring up the arms up and over, we're feeling rooted right here in the soles of our feet. We feel strong within the body. Our abs are strong. We're lengthening up towards the ceiling. Taking deep breaths, paying attention to our body and the breath. We're gonna take one more deep breath here in our warrior one, nice, stable. And let's exhale, bring it to warrior two. So that means that arm, same leg that is in front, same arm forward, the other arm back, elongating palms face down. Let's check our knee. Is it aligning with the ankle? Toes point forward. Then let's bring that gaze right over the fingertips. And we can imagine where we're gazing at. We know we can hear that trickle of water. We can hear that flow. Let's 
got to release the back of the arm. Bring that other front palm up, lifting up to our reverse warrior, looking towards the sky, seeing that beautiful bright blue sky, maybe some clouds floating by. Oh, let's exhale, we're gonna release. We wanna move to the other side. We wanna see what's on the other side of us. So let's just slowly bring our feet toes forward and we're simply going to shift. So shift till you bring yourself to the opposite side. Check knee to ankle alignment, that long back leg. You might have to bring that hip width distance apart. Bring hands to hips and draw yourself forward facing. So hips forward facing. Let's inhale, bring the arms up and over. Bending our front leg right above the ankle, knee ankle alignment. Soften the knee a little more, sink into it. Feel strong here. All right, lifting up. Nice deep breaths. We feel so strong in our warrior one. We're even lifting through the torso. Abs are tucked in, reaching for the sky here. One more breath in our warrior one. And let's exhale, warrior two, our hips opened up to the side of our mat. Let's extend through the arms. We're still having that front bent knee. Let's check, we can see our big toe. We have knee, ankle knee alignment. And then we bring our gaze over the front fingertips. Nice deep breaths here. Relaxing the shoulders, gazing on the other side where we have made our way through the path, through the forest. We came across the stream. Ah, let's go ahead and release that hand behind us and start to bring that palm up, looking up as we reach up towards the heavens again, looking up into that beautiful sky maybe some clouds floating by. Maybe we even see a bird that flies by through the sky. Let's go ahead and exhale. We're gonna release that. Bring hands on hips, let's bring it forward. As we come forward, go ahead and turn around, hun. <laughs> so you face the camera right there. So we're gonna have wider legs here. And then let's heel toe slightly in so that we have our heels tucked in instead of our toes just pointing forward. And when we bend the knees, we're checking. Go ahead and check, bring your hips back. So hinge at the hips, glutes back, check knees to ankles. Do they align? And do the knees point the same direction as your feet? Let's go ahead and inhale, lengthening up. So we're bringing that gaze straight forward now. And we're gonna exhale into our moon flower. So palms face forward, hinge back, lengthen the back, bring those elbows into the rib cage. Then let's inhale all the way up and over. We're moving into that sunflower, so lengthen those legs. We're gonna exhale, big, huge sunflower. Option to hinge forward with that nice flat back and make a huge circle with our arms for the sunflower. Let's inhale, lengthen all the way up and over. Back in the moonflower, palms forward, hinge at the elbows. Hinging back, softening those knees. Let's inhale, lengthen up and over. Sunflower, exhale. Remember, we're hinging at the hips, hinging at those knees. We sweep down, big, huge flower with the arms. Inhale. Exhale, moonflower. Inhale. And exhale, big sunflower all the way down. Inhale, lengthen back up. And let's bring our hands together because what have we found with our sun and moon flowers? We found the volcano in front of us. So lengthen through those legs. Let's go ahead and cross those thumbs. Fingers point straight up, palms together. Lengthening up all the way through the abs, through the soles of the feet. And what does a volcano do? It explodes. So let's inhale. As we exhale, we explode, we let it all go. And we're gonna do it through the mouth today. Let's bring the fingers to center, drum all the way up and over. And exhale. Letting all that steam go. Inhale, nice solar plexus breath. Exhale. Inhale again through center. And exhale. All right, 
away, letting all that steam go for a moment. Let's start to walk it slightly and we have hip width distance apart. So we're gonna do a little bit of kidney slapping. We're gonna let these knees be soft, tuck those abs in. We're gonna let those arms go and just move in a twist. Oh, how that feels good to the back as well. <laughs> So just notice as you let your arms go, the front hand might slap the front part of the kidneys, the back hand slaps the back part of your kidneys. And it's just a gentle slapping, it's a detoxification here. So we're not beating ourselves up looking for bruises or anything, just a gentle slapping. Some of us get a little carried away over here with it. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and come back to a wider stance. It doesn't have to be too wide. This time toes point forward. We want those toes point forward. Maybe shoulder width distance apart here. Let's have those strong abs, soft knees, lengthen all the way through the torso. Taking a deep breath. Now let's go ahead and inhale, bring one arm up. Other arm comes down. Remember, no weight. This is a guiding arm. We're gonna exhale lateral flexion inhale coming back up arm switches exhale lateral flexion let's inhale and exhale inhale and exhale inhale exhale inhale Exhale, this is our last one. Inhale. And let's exhale, palms come together, hands to heart. Let's go ahead and step it back in. We haven't crawled underneath any branches yet. So here it comes, we went through the volcano. We're hip width distance apart. We're at the bottom of it. So let's inhale, lengthen up and over. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, monkey pose, gaze forward, heart leans forward. Open the heart, roll those shoulders back. Soften those knees enough. Let's exhale, walk it out to our downward facing dog. So here in our downward facing dog, we have hip width distance apart. Soften those knees, lengthen lengthening and softening here. So we're bending the knees, slowly starting to bring them down, hovering over the mat, then let's inhale, press those heels back and down. We keep the head between the arms, back is flat, let's exhale, soften, bend those knees, we're gonna hover over that mat, and inhale, lengthen it back out. One more time, exhale, bring those knees towards the mat, we're just gonna barely, barely, and then lengthen it back out. Take a nice deep breath. Let's move into our plank pose. And while we're on plank, let's set, let the knees come down and bring it to the forearm. So we have a forearm plank. Elbow, or excuse me, shoulder elbow alignment, forearms down, palms face forward. We can also tuck those toes and lift the knees as we come into our forearm plank. Let's go ahead and exhale, release. We're gonna slowly come all the way down to the mat. And as we come all the way down to the mat, our arms are already ready for our Sphinx pose. So shoulder, elbow alignment, forearms down, fingertips pointing forward, palms come down to the mat. Let's roll those shoulders back, bring the gaze forward, start to lift through the crown of the head as we shine our heart forward. Shoulders move down and back as we squeeze the scapula and our shoulder blades in towards our vertebrae. Nice deep breaths. One more breath here. And let's exhale, release. Let's start to press back up. As we inhale, we have that kneeling plank. Let's exhale and move back into a wide-legged extended child's pose. So glutes to heels here. And as we have glutes to heels, let's open up the knees as wide as we can and comfortable and then bring it forward and down. We're 
we're starting to cool down here. So while we have our wide-legged extended child's pose, palms are down into the ground, shoulder width distance apart, spread those fingers, and let's lift the head, lift our body, and just slowly let ourselves rock gently, left and right. So we're just moving left and right. We can bring that gaze forward. We could use the head, maybe even lean to that shoulder, putting the head ear to that shoulder as we move side to side. And let's find a center here. Stretch it out, look forward, and then let's start to bring it back up. As we bring it up, let's bring those knees back closer together. Let's sit on our heels. So as we sit on our heels, we want to move into some twisting. Let's inhale, lengthen up and over. We're still low, but we're now by the stream. Let's exhale and open up those arms and move, opening to one side. Look back behind us. Inhale, lengthening up and over. Exhale, over the other side. Inhale, lengthening up and over. Exhale, allow it to twist. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go and sweep those arms down, bring ourselves back forward. Let's draw the shoulders up to the, all the way up to the ears. And exhale, release and relax. Let's go ahead and lift ourselves up off the heels. We want to stretch a little bit into the shoulders, the heart, the upper back. So let's bring fists for wrists. We want to come into our camel pose. We find balancing on the knees right below the hips. We press into that low back. We tighten our glutes, so really squeeze those glutes together. Let's lift through the heart, roll those shoulders back, and bring the gaze upward. Make sure that we can still breathe in and out of the nose as we move up and back. And let's begin to exhale and bring it all the way back up. Let's just move into a regular child's pose or whatever child's pose is most comfortable for you as we bring it all the way back down. As we bring it to rest, we're starting to bring ourselves into a cooling point. Oh, the mountain that we climbed, the stream, the volcano. Nice deep breaths. Starting to soothe ourselves as we're at the top of the mountain now. We get to enjoy looking over. Let's come all the way back up. We want to come into a balancing pose as we look over all the landscape. So here as we come to our balancing pose, you can be forward, we're coming into a boat pose, but it is a wide-legged boat pose. It is so fun. I don't know how you're gonna do it right next to me, so scoot up maybe up here, or I can scoot up there. Yeah, you scoot up there, and I'll scoot back. So just so you know, you're starting to open those knees. So remember boat pose, we bring those legs straight out, hip width distance apart. We find balance either with arms behind us or arms right here. Well, for this one, open those knees. It's gonna be that wide-legged boat. So come on up. You have to find balance on your glutes, on your booty. So let's grab the two piece fingers, big toes, grab a hold of those big toes. We have a butterfly position right now. Let's roll those shoulders back and start to lift through that heart. So that heart comes forward and up as we roll those shoulders back. We have a nice length, flat back, like a board, and we start to tilt back. Oh, we're finding balance just right here in our butterfly. Finding balance, and then we start to open. Oh, you can't use me as your balance. We start to open through the legs. So now I'm in a wide-legged bent boat. So here's the bend, you could even keep it here. <laughs> or you can extend all the way out, lengthening those legs. Remember the back is flat. And hopefully you don't have a partner or somebody kicking you. <laughs> so wide-legged balancing boat here. Let's go ahead and exhale, start to bring it in. Oh, did we find our balance there? Ah, nice bouncing. Let's come into that easy cross-legged style for a moment. Taking a few deep breaths here, we get a moment to have a little bit of peace at the top of the mountain. Isn't it wonderful, the view? 
Just closing the eyes and imagining the view at the top of your mountain. What is your beautiful view? You're in a beautiful time and a beautiful place. And just taking that moment to allow it to all come in. Allow yourself to surrender to that peace, that beauty that life gives us. take a moment we still have shavasana and a little bit of stretching so let's find our way down into our mat and as we find our way down into the mat I don't know how you're gonna find it with a dog but we're gonna find our way down to the mat squeeze those knees into the chest rock left and right round palm here and when we're ready we're gonna just keep those knees bent flat back, head on the floor, arms are open and wide and palms are face up. If that's not possible, you can just bring the arms to the side. Let's release the legs to one side. We want to keep those shoulders grounded. Even if the arms aren't all the way out, those shoulders are grounded, the upper part of our back is. Just the hips and the lower back and the legs have moved to the side, stretching through that low back, through the body. Finding that nice deep breath here. And as we exhale, let's bring it back into the body. Let's curl ourselves into a ball. So really give yourself a squeeze, rock back and forth here. And then when you're ready, when you release to the ground, I'm gonna move the other way. We open those arms again. We have the heart open as we release to the side. Allow the knees, remember the shoulders are stable here. We're starting to fall, surrender into our breath. It feels good to be here today. Our bodies feel good. And let's exhale, we bring it back to center. Last time, give yourself a squeeze, a hug, tight, rolling. Here you can roll around. If you have more room at home, feel free to roll around, just as long as you don't hurt yourself and run into anything or hurt others or anything. So enjoy your rolling. And then when you're done rolling, we are going to release into Shavasana. And for most of us, if not all of us, it'll be lying on the ground. Some of us may want to sit up. You can always take a cross-legged easy style. You can sit nice and tall. And just allow the eyes to shut. And Nicholas is gonna take Shavasana on the ground. So we're gonna show how we do it on the ground. We release the body, we open the palms and the hands, and we allow the legs to be open. We allow the feet to flop open just feeling comfortable. Let's go ahead and open the palms of the hands and relax, closing the eyes here. Nice deep breaths, inhaling and exhaling. keyword today was integrity the quality of being honest and true to yourself and others let's take a moment here focusing on our breath as we inhale Feeling the belly rise and exhale as the belly falls. Sinking deeper into the earth. 
We allow our mind to flow upstream, reaching the highest mountain top. We find ourselves a glacier, a slow moving mass of ice and snow. Ice and snow that has accumulated layers of compact snow. We notice the rigidity, the tension as we see the heavy mass move slowly down the slope through force and gravity. We take a moment to ponder on our own life. Do we carry or have compact layers of frozen rigidity within us? Does this keep us frozen from acting living and being. How can we begin to melt away our stiffness, our rigor? Can we be more flexible and bend with the passing moment? Can we begin to release some stiffness and relax, releasing that false sense of control we have, drip by drip as the glacier melts and moves into a steady stream. The steady stream meets the river's flow with grace. As we begin to relax into the flow of life, we may not see the twists, the turns, the drops, the falls ahead and possibly dams. But if we trust the flow, we can more easily move through life's challenges, being in that present moment. We don't allow fear to stop us from moving down river. With new eyes and a new perception these moments become energizing and exciting instead of fearful and immobilizing us. We find the passion to move forward. We trust in our flow. We relax and release our rigid thoughts and muscles and begin to flow with life. Feeling cheerful and carefree as it brings an openness and expansion, an expansion to meet the adventures of our life. We allow this to settle within us as we ponder deeply relaxing. Breathing in. Breathing out. Each breath melts another layer of ice, releasing that tension, releasing the rigidity, allowing it to easily flow, finding life's adventures.
And now we're starting to reawake here. And as we reawake, we just simply let the breath awaken us. We don't even have to open the eyes as we take deeper breaths, more aware of our body. Inhaling and exhaling. As we allow the breath to bring in awareness through the body, we start to bring movement into the fingertips, into the toes. We start to move through the body. As we move through the body, we awaken. We allow ourselves to come to the sides. We might come into a fetal position and give ourselves a nice good squeeze. And then when we're ready, we can always come to, back to that sitting position. Thank you for joining us, Nicholas. Namaste. And thank you everyone for joining us for yoga today as we move through Ish Vada Pranadana, our fifth and last Niyama. Have a wonderful day as you can take this piece all the way throughout the day with you. Just remembering our breath. Namaste. Have a wonderful day.